Hey, what's going on guys? This is GCP. Welcome back to some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay. Gonna be playing some TDM on the map hijacks. This crazy, crazy ship. Gonna be using the Scorpion with rapid fire and suppressor, my absolute go-to favorite weapon slash setup here in the game itself. This is the rushing class, people. My go-to rushing class, but you guys should already know that. But for those of you who don't, by the way, I will take this time to thank all of you who came over from Thunderstruck Gaming and gave me a subscribe. First of all, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch the video on that amazing community channel. And secondly, for taking the time to click on my channel and considering me as someone to subscribe to. So with all that being said, thank you guys for coming on over. And I hope you guys enjoy your stay. A little bit about me, if you guys would like to know, for those of you who are new, who know nothing about me, first of all, let me tell you guys, I keep it real on this channel, okay? I keep it real, I'm not fake, I'm not gonna tell you something one day and then completely change my opinion the next, or conform to any one person and their opinion. What I say is what I mean, and what I mean is what I say. So what you're gonna get here on this channel is nothing but real talk. And honestly, I'm a very interactive YouTuber, content creator, etc. I love, love, love feedback on this channel. In fact, I see every single comment on this channel or on my videos, and I respond to them pretty quickly, actually. I have this app on my iPhone. What is this called now? I'm looking at it right now. The studio app. I'm sure some of the content creators out there know about this app. And I'm able to respond right away to the comments. Right? I don't have to even hop on to my computer to do so. So pretty amazing. And also on Twitter, I'm pretty fast in replying. Actually, that's the quickest way to get a hold of me. By the way, my Twitter handle is always in the description below. So if you guys want to follow me there, you definitely can. So yeah, for those of you, again, who came over and are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy your stay here. First off, i like to talk about a few things. On my video on Thunderstore Gaming, I talked about the fun factor. And I got a few comments that disagreed with what I had to say. And a few comments that were kind of hateful. And honestly, I welcome all of them. First off, let me start with the ones that were disagreeing with me. I will say this once and I'll say it once only. I welcome disagreements because they make the conversation interesting. Now here's the thing, if you had somebody who was always agreeing with you and nodding their head to what you said, then that would be pretty dang boring, right? It creates a different spark of ideas and creates conversation of different approaches, different viewpoints. And that's how the conversation is so interesting because people have different opinions. And when you're able to discuss that, civilized or in a civil manner, it makes for interesting talk, man. It makes for interesting talk. Because if somebody is constantly saying, yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right, uh-huh, I agree. And you're like, okay, anything else? Like, it's a pretty boring conversation. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing if somebody is always agreeing, but if they're agreeing with you all the time, then of course it can be. Now let me talk to you guys about the hateful comments. Hate is something that I laugh at because it's something that doesn't affect me personally. I don't take it to heart. It's something I look at, I take in, and then I let it just slide off my back. And I think that's what the majority of people need to do, especially if you're gonna be on the internet. You have to have some tough skin. You have to build your, build your, um, how should I say this, confidence when hate comes your way. Because no matter what you say, people are always gonna have something to say about you. And that's not always going to be constructive, sometimes sometimes that's going to be hateful. So let that be a lesson for those of you who are afraid of hateful comments. 
uh, to just take it in lightly and not think too much about it. But that's basically what I wanted to say. Not very much going on in today's video, but thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. This is OG Speed Silva, and I am signing off.